let us check the working of our virtual reality project so here is the hardware setup the gloves that we made and uh, I'll show you the components present over here first is the hall sensor over here the first hall sensor the second hall sensor and the small blue disc which is used for tracking the color so we're going to track this color and a small piece of magnet over here so that the hall sensor gets contact with that magnet and over here we have the Bluetooth module the Arduino Nano and the battery which powers the whole setup this is an ordinary 9 volt battery so that is it let me go ahead and power this on okay now it's powered as you can see the Arduino is on and the Bluetooth is blinking so let's go and launch the processing sketch now I'll, I have also shown a mirrored screen on the top left corner for you so that it's easy for you to see what's happening on my desktop screen. So once I launch it, it will take some time for my sketch to launch because it has to establish a Bluetooth communication as well as open my webcam. So once the Bluetooth communication is established, you can notice that this blinking LED over here will become constant. Yes, so the LED has become constant and you can also see myself on the webcam. Now this is the calibration screen where we have to set which color to be tracked for us we have to track this blue color disc so let me go ahead and click on it. So once clicked you can notice that wherever I move my hand you could see that small blue color circular uh, object following my hand as well. So you can see on the left small screen that a small blue color object tracks my uh, hand wherever I move it. So this is how the hand tracking is done. Now let us test how the switch works. So when I press the first switch you can see it says key 1 is pressed and when I press the second switch it says key 2 is pressed. So over here yeah key 2 is pressed so it says key 2 is pressed. So I press the first key again. So I just have to bring it close to that magnet and it will, and it will detect that the particular key is being pressed. Key 1 and key 2 respectively. Okay, now once the calibration is done, click on this done icon and you'll be taken to the main screen. So this is the main screen from where you can navigate to the paint screen or to the LED screen. So you can see that blue color trackball still moving on the screen so that you can get to know where your object is currently being tracked now let me go ahead and track it, uh, drag it to the center of the screen so that we can open it so in order to open something you have to drag it and place it in the center now we have entered the paint screen over here that over that black color canvas you can actually sketch something so let me try to draw something uh, let me start with a circle I have to close my fingers and then draw it just like we just like you're using a pencil in the air so that's a circle bear with me that's a crazy circle but let me try to draw a stick man so now let me draw the body just close your fingers and move it and open it so that uh, you won't be able to draw when you open your fingers so you have to close your fingers and only then the drawing happens the left leg and then the right leg Okay, please bear with me and uh, please accept that it is a stick man because I'm really bad at drawing. And also it's a bit difficult to draw over here. It's just a concept to prove you that you how accurate this tracking works. So let me draw the hand and to give a final touch, let us put a smile on the face. Okay, so this is how the tracking actually works it is so accurate that you can make many screens drag them in the middle and open them and when i right click uh, that is when i press my second finger it will go to the main screen now let me pull in the led screen i can drag it anywhere i wish and when i release it in the center the led screen opens okay here the led is off right now let me go ahead and turn it on as you can see the red led is on when i press over there and when I release it, it stays on and I can turn it off by clicking on this icon. Yes, it's turned off now. So let me go ahead and turn it on again. Off. So I just have to move my cursor over there and click. That's all. The LED is on. And move it over here. Click. The LED is off. So this is how you can turn on any loads. I am just explaining you with the onboard LED. But you can actually do anything you wish to. And when you right click, it comes back to the main screen. So this is how the project works, guys. Thanks for checking.